I, Professor B. K. Jain, working in Biani Institute of Science and Management of Biani Group of Colleges, welcomes you in this session on behalf of Guru KPO. The topic for today's discussion is another important regulatory body of financial system that is Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. I have already discussed in earlier session about SEBI. This IRDA was established as a statutory body in the year 1999. IRDA Act was passed in this year and based on this IRDA started working and is also started monitoring the insurance business. It has four primary objectives behind its establishment. Number one, protecting the interest of policy holder. All types of policy holders which are engaged in the insurance business, they may be connected with life insurance, they may be connected with non-life insurance. This statutory body was established to protect the interest of both life and non-life insurance policy holders. It has it was also established to ensure orderly growth of insurance industry in India. Orderly growth means no hindrance in the working of insurance companies and as a regulatory body it has to ensure that it goes on well. Another important objective was to amend three acts, Insurance Act of 1938, LIC Act of 1956 and GIC Act of 1972. Uh, these three acts are already existing before the IRDA. So IRDA was supposed to make necessary changes, amendments in these three acts to ensure protection of interest of the policy holders as well as properly growth of insurance industry. And lastly, to promote private players in the insurance sector because earlier only two insurance companies were working which were in the public sector. One was LIC, another was GIC. So besides LIC and GIC, after financial liberalization, government of India thought that lot of private players will also in, want to enter in this market. So allowing them to enter in the private, uh, private players in this particular uh, insurance sector. It is performing various functions. I have only mentioned a few. Number one is registration. Registration of all the insurance companies who wants to do insurance business in India. Registration means issuing them license, then renew their license. If they violate the provisions of this act, then cancel their license, faith, levying penalties, fines, etc. This all comes under the registrations. It is also empowered to prescribe qualifications to those who are working in the insurance sector. Then also training requirement for those who are working in this, in this sector. Then it is also empowered to conduct again like SEBI inspection, inquiry and audit and for all this purpose call for information, call for record from the, those who have been registered with this IRDA and then conduct audit inspection and inquiry. Then it is also empowered to specify set of books which are required to be maintained and the manner in which those set of books is to be maintained by the insurance companies. Then it is also empowered to ensure that surplus funds with the insurance companies are invested in a proper way looking to the interest of the insurance company. You might have heard that LIC is such an investment, investment concern which have lot of surplus funds which provides funds not only to government of India but to state government and many public sector undertakings. It is also empowered to specify percentage of rural business in the total insurance business because mostly the insurance business goes to cities and metropolitan cities and semi-urban areas. So this has also powers to specify the out of the total business of insurance, both life and non-life, what should be the percentage of the rural business so that rural area does not remain uncovered out of the purview of the IRDA. And lastly, as and when government make sure or prescribes many more functions to be performed, it is authorized to perform those functions. Because in government of India, above all these three institutions, key regulatory body is the Ministry of Finance and under Ministry of Finance, there is a Department of Banking and Insurance which issue, issues directions to this, this IRDA and that is why if any more directions are issued by government of India, it is supposed to perform all those functions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For further details, kindly log on to our site www.gurukpo.com.